friends so today we are doing two servers over they are antique servers and we are ready to go we have our gloves we have our paint we have all the essentials that you need to redo a server so join us today at the mom stuff coffee shop let's go hey friends so today we're starting with chalk paint we bought this from home depot i used the tin white and my sister used the antique blue so we started with these servers and of course we had to have our paintbrush and my screwdriver for that hardware the hardware was really hard to come off this is the server before this is one of the servers before and this is me taking off that hardware boy this took a long time because this is like i said an antique piece but i finally got it off and it even had the original paperwork i thought that was pretty cool so here i'm gonna start at the bottom and friends we wipe this down before with alcohol so it could get all the oils off of the furniture but i just started at the bottom with my chalk paint i did not prime this piece so with chalk paint you don't need to do a primer but you do need to do a gloss if you're going to have it in an area where a lot of people touch the piece or you use it a lot and here my sister is painting her piece and we are in my laundry room this is our room where we just store things and we do big projects so i'm just going to go back and forth in a back and forth motion and Another tip I would tell you about redoing furniture is make sure that your lines are going the same way, if at all possible. Because with this piece, I did have a little bit of back and forth in different directions, but as you can see, I had to get around those corners. And that's another tip I would say. I bought this brush, but I had planned to buy those really, really tiny brushes. And on the second day, I did buy a smaller brush to go in those crevices. So here I am going back and forth with my chalk paint. Really getting that chalk paint in. And friends, you definitely want to have enough chalk paint. And one pint is enough to do a piece like this, but if you had a bigger piece, I would recommend you getting two pints. So I'm just gonna go up and down, back and forth on this piece until it's all covered. Now, on the first application, you're not gonna get full coverage. So what we did we painted these pieces as much as we could and we covered the whole piece in one day and then we let these dry for a couple of days we had a couple of days we worked on these projects another tip i would give you is to put on some really old clothes i did pretty good this time i didn't get a whole lot of paint on my clothes but I was ready, old t-shirt and old jeans. You don't wanna mess up your good things, friends. So here I am in the front of the piece. Let me tell you about this intricate design on this beautiful historic piece. It was absolutely beautiful, but I had to go over the front so many times. And this causes it to be a lot to cover. When you're doing your pieces, make sure, I'll say this again, you have enough paint. Because some of those pieces are so massive, you have to go around them over and over again. But this was such a fun project to do, friends. Let me tell you how you can accomplish this. You can go to an old yard sale or an old, not an old, but a, a new thrift store. <laughs> I'm focusing on old. I'm trying to get you to see antique pieces can be restored and they could be so beautiful but you could get up on a saturday morning and go to your local thrift store and see what they have and the fun part about it is you're going to make it your own 
I knew I wanted the chalk white. I knew I wanted a matte finish, but I didn't know that my sister was going to do hers in antique blue. And guys, it came out so beautiful. And that's the thing about chalk paint. Chalk paint was invented by Annie Sloan. She invented chalk paint, I think around 1990. But she's an artist and she needed something to stick to furniture. So she invented chalk paint. And I think it's pretty cool. So you can get up. Go to your thrift store or go to your yard sale or wherever you can find a historic piece. I just love antiques. I love old homes. I love old furniture. I just love things with a lot of character. As a matter of fact, my home is very old. I just love old things. Such an old soul. And I love home projects. And this was such a treat to do with my sister. So... Here I'm doing back and forth again, back and forth motion, and again, going into those small crevices. And before you get started with your project, make sure you get all your paint brushes that you need. You're gonna need all sizes to get into those crevices, so make sure you get every size you need. So I finished up my piece, and here's my sister's piece. As you can see, the first coat is gonna be see-through. So you just go ahead and you keep going in your up and down motion, whichever way you decide. Just make sure you try to stick with that particular brush And here's stroke. my daughter. She came in to help. And we had so much fun. This was such a family project. And my daughter, she was just concentrating on her back and forth, up and down. She was a great helper. It's so important to get your kids involved in projects especially ones that's going to be in the family for a while so when she grows up she can say i helped to do that so here we are in the backyard we have removed the hardware and we're actually going to use spray paint we're going to use rustoleum 3x spray paint and we chose the silver the shiny silver and guys it came out so beautifully i had actually never used this particular brand but it came out so well, so we let these dry. We had to go outside because you know, the fumes from spray paint can be toxic on the inside. So we went outside and we were praying that it didn't rain because we left these out for about a day and then we came back and we did another coat. And here my sister is on our next day and we're about to apply our second coat. And as you can see, we have a limited amount left. So again, guys, I'll keep stressing, make sure you get enough paint for your project. So here I am on our second day of our project. And as you can see, look how much coverage it has on the second time around. As a matter of fact, I thought it was gonna be a little yellow because as you can see, the bright white is actually a true white and the background is a little yellow but that's because the wood was kind of porous when I put the paint on so you definitely want to do a second coat if you don't want that see-through look and again I'm gonna spend a lot of time in the front of this piece because it was so thick and massive and if you could find different hardware to go with your pieces you could even change out your hardware here my daughter is again helping us on the second day and guess what we didn't even have to do the back because the back is going to be up against the wall but i wanted to do the piece completely in case one day i wanted to give it away or pass it down and she really enjoyed helping us with this project And as you can see, I did get some rollers. And that's another tip, guys. I would tell you, start with rollers for those big spaces. When I thought about it, I should have bought a roller the first time. So guys, we put so many hours in, such hard work into these pieces. 
and I think they came out absolutely beautiful. We were so proud of our efforts. And here's my sister's piece. She decided to use hers as a bar. So when she comes home and relaxes, she can have herself her favorite drink in her beautiful bar. And this is what these projects are for, guys. Make them your own. You can do so many things. You could put books in them. You could put silverware, dishes, anything your heart's desire. They can even be your organizing space for all things home. And I just think hers came out beautiful. And so this is how mine came out. And if you watch my other videos from my DIY entryway table with the candy bar, you will see this took on a drastic change. It used to be brown. So guys, I really enjoy sharing this project with you. If you do this project, please let me know. And thank you for stopping inside the Mom Stuff Coffee Shop. Until next time.